Okay, this is the graphic clipping path alignment exercise, the one with the woman on the right-hand side. Okay, I have already went into Edit Preferences, enabled the dynamic spelling and the autocorrect spelling, and set my ruler, ruler units and increments to inches, and I have just open the new command dialog box, three pages, deselect facing pages, letter, portrait, half inch margins, and click OK. This is what we're working towards here. We're going to type the word alignment in three parts using three different text frames. So we're going to create a text frame at the top left here, that is two inches wide and two and a half high. Okay, that's close enough. Set the font to TWMT, condensed extra bold, size 200. Enter. Type the letter A. I'm going to click off to the selection tool. I do have my fit frame to content button, so I'll click it. Otherwise, I could have double clicked a corner handle. And now we're going to locate this at the very top left corner. This away, we are selected. We do have the top left corner of the proxy box clicked. X location is 5, Y location is, sorry, 0.5, which is right, Y location, 0.5 inches, enter. Done. Create another text box to the right of the first text box. And I can see that this one is going to be pretty big by looking at the picture right here. So I'll do it about there. Same font, TW Sen MT Condensed Extra Bold, size 72, enter. Type line and fit the frame to content. Go to the Select tool, Click here. I'm going to keep this selected. Go to the free transform tool. Put in a negative 14 degrees. Enter. And I still have my proxy point set to the top left hand corner. The X position will be 1.95 tab. Y position 0.5 inches, enter. The rest of the word, create another text frame. Same font, TW, send, MT condensed, extra bold, size 72, enter, type mint, and fit to frame. I'll just double click here. Or fit frame to content, sorry. Choose the free transform tool. Set the rotation angle to 8.5. Enter. Set the location x to 3.2. Tab. Y location 0.825, enter. And now, next, select just the E in the text frame. I'll switch to the typing tool, drag across there. Baseline shift will be 10, enter. N. Select the N, baseline shift, minus 7, enter, moves it down. Create another text box. 
So, you know, I'm going to just click off here, make sure that we're out of there. Uh, it's going to be around here. Set the font. TW Send MT, same thing, 24, enter, and type. Placing objects on a page. That does not look right to me, but, and I do believe I am correct. It isn't. I missed the extra bold. Okay, and over to the Select tool, I'll fit the frame to content, and locate this at 2, I'll hit my Tab key, Y is 1.8, Enter. Okay, main title's done. Let's go get some text. First, we're going to put on a horizontal guide. I'm just going to drag it out, click here. It's going to be 2.6, enter. File place, that's our control D. And we want, I don't know where I am, so I'm just going to click my drop down arrow here and follow along. Handout 204, Boston in design. And then I want the design. Did I do that right? No, I don't think I did. InDesign text files. Thank you. Text files, design, alignment. It's the first one. It's a text document. If I click on it, there's just that one word. Double click. And place it at the left margin and the guide. Okay, I'm just going to click. It will go over there to the bottom right hand side. We'll thread it later, but now we want to add an image. So I'm going to click off this text frame so that the image doesn't go into it. So I deselect, hit my Control D, and I want 204 Boston in design images girl leaning it's a PSD file so that's a Photoshop when you get the loaded graphic icon click and drag from about the three inches so there's three inches point of the horizontal ruler and the top margin so here down to the bottom right margin and actually that's not too bad. Adjust it so her left foot, so I'm just going to use my arrow keys. I can see that I'm close there, left foot. Don't really see too much of her shoe there. And then her right foot, her right foot, which is the left one that we see, is just off the margin. Open up text wrap, wrap around the object shape, and then we are going to close that and go to object, clipping path, options, move it so we can see what's going on. I'm a little bit worried that somehow I got this in here, but I'm going to continue for a second. Okay, no, it's okay. And we are at nine minutes. I will stop it here and we'll start with formatting the text on the next video.